Is that Chris? Man, what is good, YouTube? Y'all already know who it is. It's your boy Jay here, man. I'm back with another video, y'all. And today, man, we got a crazy and just very wild video to talk about. Now, it seems like in today's classroom, y'all, um, pretty much we got Kondo, Rondo on the roster, and some of Jada Young and homies. Now, it seems like pretty much um a lot of guys from the Rough Way slash 23 camp have some things to say about Kondo Rondo after they recently clowned his homie, or after they recently clowned Jada Younger from passing away. Now, before we get into this crazy video, man, the first thing I'm gonna ask y'all to do real quick, man, is to just hit that little like button, man, and smash that notification bell so that you can be notified anytime I drop a video, and I can keep y'all updated on this whole situation in general, bro. Y'all got me? All right. Bam. Now, basically, man, what we got going on, man, I think I kind of messed up what I said in the beginning, y'all, but... Um, if y'all didn't understand, man, it seems like we got some of JD Young and homies on the roster and we got Kondo Rondo on the roster. Now, um, pretty much it seems like JD Young and homies was pretty much clowning Kondo Rondo homie Lil Pop after he sadly lost his life in Los Angeles after they was previously talking about JD Young. And now, if y'all know what's going on, man, sadly, um, Kondo Rondo lost his close homie yesterday in Hollywood after three men pretty much jumped down and ambushed him at a gas station. You know, over there by the sheriff's station, also by the West Hollywood Park. They pull over there because the wounds to the man who was hit inside the Escalade too severe. He's bleeding. They pull over. 911 is called. Paramedics rush in. They take the injured man who's hit by gunfire to the ER. He does not make it, does not survive. So that area now in West Hollywood, also very busy, as you can imagine, on a Friday night late summer. That is all tied up as a part of this investigation, a deadly shooting investigation. Then you have the second location here at the gas station where Sly investigators say the manhunt is on now. The manhunt on for these three gunmen who, as one witness said, turned into hitmen almost execution style. Listen, now, as y'all just seen, man, pretty much, um, you know, you can see Kondo Rondo on the nose. It's like he was talking to the officer and they were trying to kind of explain what's going on and see what's happening. Now, let me just start off by saying before I get into this, I apologize. You know what I'm saying? Yesterday, it was so much going on, and I don't want to point fingers like, oh, he did it, he did it, but like, I wasn't the only one that did it. But regardless, I've got to take accountability for what I said. Um, I apologize because for some reason, I made a video and I said that he got um in his hometown and he lost his man. Like, come to find out, he did lose his man's, but he didn't even get shot. They said he got grazed in the leg, but I seen the video and it seemed like bro was walking in like nothing literally was wrong with him and then he literally didn't get shot in georgia he um got shot in california now pretty much news had dropped yesterday y'all that um quando rondo lost his homie um Lil pop and they were pretty much ambushed after some cars pulled up a little some shit, but he's the only one that sadly lost his life now the video was crazy because um when everybody found out that Kondo wasn't hit, you know, this video had started surfacing and they had everybody like, it kind of messed everybody's head up when they seen it. The streets and this chaotic scene, the ending of a sh** that started in Beverly Grove. Sheriff's deputies pulling out a man who had been sh** in an SUV. This man, a passenger in that car, frantic at the site. It all started at this mobile gas station at 5.30 Friday evening. As y'all seen that video, man, pretty much, um, Quando Rondo noticed that, you know, his mans was hit and he lost a man and you, like, he just started screaming and, you know, that's a scream that's not normal. You know, that's pain. Like, you can hear pain in his screaming. A lot of people were, like, you know, feeling real, like, feeling bad and, like, it's, like, it became reality. Like, people started noticing, like, you know, that this is real life, but, um, pretty much J.D. Young got home and they go by the name of, um, 1106 WAP and some guy named Roughway underscore about. Pretty much reposted on uh, Lil Pop post because um, Lil Pop, after JD Younger passed away, put up something and said smoke, like with a laughing emoji, right? Um, so they reposted it and said, dang Lil B, it was just funny, now you gone. And he said, hashtag, or he said on 23 with the red flag. Now, pretty much they're posting that and they're like, pretty much saying, like, you know, he was just making fun of JD Younger and look at him, now he passed away. Now, in all honesty, are they necessarily just 20%, 100% wrong? No, but at the same time, you know, you gotta be. Like, bro, it, it what goes around comes around. You know, I said the same thing in my video when they pretty much was um making fun of when Fulio was making fun of JD Young and them. I told him the same thing. You know, nobody is exempt for it. And as y'all see, man, um, 
Quando Rondo, people got hit. You know, good thing that he didn't pass away, but regardless, he had to watch his man go, and they're pretty much laughing at them. But the thing is, bro, like I say, what goes around comes around, man. The same thing that makes you laugh will be the same thing that makes you cry. You know, it's sad that I, you know, that like it's like this, bro, but it's just like, bro, we living in some, some rough times, man. And it's crazy to see how many people were laughing and happy that, you know, he passed away. And to be honest, I think everybody just wanted to be. Lil Dirk so bad and saying Lil Dirk did this, Lil Dirk did that get back game. Honestly, man, for what I'm hearing, they're pretty much saying that, you know, um, um, some guys that had nothing to do with Lil Dirk, a lot of people are saying that, you know, um, you know, it's Quando, if y'all don't know, him and the guy, Lil Pop, all of them, if I'm not mistaken, they're rolling six. You know, they claim rolling six in Savannah, and, you know, he tapped in out there in L.A., and they saying that, you know, it probably might have just been the wrong, right, wrong place at the wrong time. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all don't know L.A., um, the Rolling Sixties is one of the biggest black games out there, but also there's a lot of, they're like one of the biggest enemies, you know what I'm saying? They, um, biggest enemy, one of the biggest, um, if it ain't eight trade games, is the, um, Hoovers, you know what I'm saying? Those are the guys that actually were responsible for Pop Smoke Pass, so no one knows what happened, man. Regardless, man, it's a sad situation, bro. Um, hearing that man scream like that, bro, I ain't gonna lie, it kind of messed me up, bro, because it's like, bro... A lot of people take this social media stuff and they make jokes out of it and say slide for this, slide for that. But let me tell y'all something, man. A lot of Quano just got quote unquote embarrassed because it was on social media. I'm gonna let y'all know right now. He ain't the first nor the last person that ever did that when they seen their man die. He just the only one that got caught on camera. Now I want to talk y'all head off, man. I just want to get y'all this video, but I want y'all to see this, man. And as y'all see, it said since Quano just got shot because people thought he got shot. He said, I want to remind everyone that y'all are not 4K Trey OTF. YSL, 4PF, NLE, GDK, ATR, YNW, OMB, or Glow Game. Saying that, I'm saying that to say, bro, y'all are not these people. Y'all are fans, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's already bad enough y'all idolizing these people because in reality, are these guys setting good examples? If you want to be honest from what they rap about, this and that. No, you know what I'm saying? And another thing, you know, even though it's a sad situation, um, you know, corner run though, you know, but what you when you rap about that type of stuff and you live a gang life, man, it's bound to happen, you know, because they come to find out that he was actually the target. You know what I mean? Um, it's just sad, bro. In all honesty, bro, uh, I'm praying for this dude, family, little pop, man, and hopefully it make Quando run or move different and think about the things he do. You here for a reason, but you don't have to be tough. We don't have to li live that lifestyle, bro. It's like. When I say we, I'm saying us as black people because let's be real, bro. It's like we, we get a fad out of this and we look at, we look up to these rappers, bro. It's, 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 it, bro. It's sad, bro. Like, real deal, man. Hearing that man scream like that, just, man, imagine what his, his family going through. That man, parents, it's just a sad situation, man. But y'all give me y'all thoughts and opinions about this in the comment section. Let me know how y'all feel about it, man. Put in the comment section, rest in peace, pop, man. Justice for rest, for justice for pop, bro. Um, yeah, it's a sad situation, man. It's your boy, look, it's Jay. Thank God for another day. May y'all be safe. I love y'all so much, man. <laughs> and yeah, bro. I'm out, man. Oh, look at this. A little dance. Little dance the yeah, that one might get yeah, it. Yeah, a little dance. A little one-half power dunk. Oh, yeah, a little, little Randy Boss. Little